Hi, I'm Mark and welcome to our first Outside Views game. The games are always question games, so trivia or quizzes, and you can play with as many friends as you want. And today it is about Europe. The whole thing works as follows. I have a hundred questions for you. And the youngest player begins. After that it continues clockwise, by the way. And after this explanation, I will ask you a question. And then I will give you enough time to hit the pause button so the player whose turn it is can answer the question. By the way, if it always takes too long for the players to answer, you could set yourself at a time limit if you want. And when the player has given the answer, just press play again and I will give you the correct answer. After the answer, maybe you need to press uh, pause again because you decide if the player was close enough to the answer but you might need to write something down then because you should write down the point if it was correct so that you know who won in the end. Because the winner is the player who has the most correct answers at the end of the 100 questions. And then press play to continue and continue clockwise of course with the next player. And it goes on until after the 100th question. If you haven't quite got it yet, and just rewind and listen again. And that's the advantage of this variant on YouTube. But if you have understood everything, then just briefly press pause again and determine the first player. Just find out who is the youngest. And then we can get started now. And here comes the first question. Question number one. What is the capital of France? This is the point where you should press pause now so that the player can give the answer. Don't worry, I'm just doing this in the first question and not in every question coming. The answer to question number one is Paris. That was probably a very easy start for you all. And then we come to question number two. What is the currency used in Germany? And the answer to question number two is the Euro. Germany was part of the start of the Euro in 2002 already. And then we come to question number three. Which European country is known for its cheese and wine? The answer once again is France. And then we come to question number four. What is the name of the canal that connects the Atlantic and Mediterranean in France? And the answer to question number four is the Canal du Midi. And now we come to question number five. Which country in Europe is the largest by area? And the answer to question number five is Russia. I guess everybody would have thought that. Then we have question number six. What is the name of the currency used in the United Kingdom? And the answer to question number six is the pound sterling. And then we come to question number seven. Which European country is known for its tulips and windmills? And the answer to question number seven is the Netherlands. I don't know if every one of you already visited them. If you haven't, you should. And then we come to question number eight. What is the name of the river that flows through London? And the answer to question number eight is the River Thames. And now we come to question number nine. Which country in Europe is known for its fjords and mountains? And the answer to question number nine is Norway. And now we come to question number 10. What is the name of the largest island in the Mediterranean Sea? 
And the answer to question number 10 is Sicily. I personally have never been to Sicily, by the way, but to its neighbor Sardinia, it's a great place for diving, by the way. And then we come to question number 11. Which European country is known for its sausages and beer? And the answer to question number 11 is Germany. And then we come to question number 12. What is the name of the largest lake in Europe? And the answer to question number 12 is Lake Ladoga. It's also in Russia, by the way. And then we come to question number 13. Which European country is known for its olive oil and pasta? And the answer to question number 13, of course, is Italy. And then we come to question number 14. What is the name of the mountain range that stretches across southern Europe? And the answer to question number 14 is the Alps. It goes through several countries. And then we come to question number 15. Which country in Europe is known for its chocolate and waffles? And the delicious answer to question number 15 is Belgium. And then we have question number 16. What is the name of the river that flows through Paris? And the answer to question number 16 is the Seine. And then we have question number 17. Which European country is known for its castles and beer? And the answer to question number 17 is the Czech Republic. Although, if anybody should have said Germany again, I guess you have to give him that point as well. And then we come to question number 18. What is the name of the active volcano in Italy? And the answer to question number 18 is Mount Etna. And then we come to question number 19. Which European country is known for its hot springs and geysers? And the answer to question number 19 is Iceland. It's quite far away, but it's still part of Europe. And then we already have question number 20. What is the name of the river that flows through Budapest? The answer to question number 20 is the Danube. And then we have question number 21. What is the name of the famous square in Barcelona that is home to Gaudi's Casa Bateo and La Pedrera? And the answer to question number 21 is Pasai de Gracia. And then we have question number 22. Which country in Europe is known for its beaches, ancient ruins and olives? The answer to question number 22 is Greece. And then we come to question number 23. What is the name of the famous palace in Dresden that was rebuilt after World War II? And the answer to question number 23 is the Zwinger Palace. Question number 24. Which country in Europe is known for its thermal baths and goulash? And the answer to question number 24 is Hungary. And then we come to question number 25. What is the name of the famous tower in Pisa that leans to one side? 
and that's quite an easy one, I guess. The answer to question number 25 is Leaning Tower of Pisa. Now you already managed to go through a quarter of the questions and I hope that you scored a lot of points. I hope I didn't make this too yeah, difficult or that Europe is too unknown to you. But let's continue. Question number 26. Which country in Europe is known for its beaches, medieval castles and Guinness beer? I hope that was an easy one. The answer to question number 26 is Ireland. Question number 27. What is the name of the famous fortress in Salzburg in Austria that was used in the movie The Sound of Music? The answer to question number 27 is Hohen Salzburg Fortress. Question number 28. What is the name of the famous palace in Rome that was the residence of the popes? And the answer to question number 28 is the Vatican Palace. Question number 29. Which European country is known for its wine and beaches? And the answer to question number 29 in this case is Portugal. They really have a great wine and some awesome beaches. Question number 30. What is the name of the largest waterfall in Europe? And the answer to question number 30 is the Rhine Falls. Question number 31. Which European country is known for its fjords and northern lights? And the answer to question number 31 is once again Norway. Question number 32. What is the name of the river that forms part of the border between Germany and Austria? And the answer to question number 32 is an old friend, it is the Danube. Question number 33. Which European country is known for its flamenco dancing and paella? And once again this delicious answer to question number 33 is Spain. Again delicious, not again Spain. Question number 34. Which country in Europe is known for its gondolas and canals? And the answer to question number 34 is, of course, Italy. And just as a side note, especially, of course, you will all know Venice. Question number 35. Which European country is known for its Viking history and fjords? And the answer to question number 35 is something where I wanted to give you some bonus points by making it quite easy. Of course, it is also Norway. Question number 36. What is the name of the river that forms the border between Germany and Switzerland? And the answer to question number 36 is the Rhine. Question number 37. Which country in Europe is known for its chocolate and clocks? And the answer to question number 37 is of course Switzerland. And here greetings to Murgi and uh, one of my people playing with me a certain game on the internet. If you manage to get to this question, I will know. <laughs> so everybody, I hope you still have fun. Question number 38. What is the name of the bridge that connects Denmark and Sweden? And the answer to question number 38 is the Öresund Bridge. 
Question number 39. What is the name of the city in the Netherlands famous for its red light district? And the answer to question number 39 is Amsterdam. But of course they are famous for more than just their red light district, but probably a lot of people would have guessed it just because of this one information. And then we have question number 40. What is the name of the ancient monument in England that consists of standing stones? The answer to question number 40 is of course Stonehenge. Question number 41. What is the name of the palace in France that was the residence of French kings? And the answer to question number 41 is the Palace of Versailles. Question number 42. Which country in Europe is known for its thermal baths and paprika? And the answer to question number 42 is something if you, just a little bit of a test if you listened earlier and it just replaced goulash by paprika, it is Hungary. Question number 43. What is the name of the city in Germany famous for its Oktoberfest? I don't know how many of you have visited there, but the answer to question number 43 is of course Munich. Question number 44. What is the name of the city in France famous for its canals and film festival? And the answer to question number 44 is Cannes. Question number 45. What is the name of the ancient amphitheater in Rome? And the answer to question number 45 is the Colosseum. Question number 46. Which European country is known for its music and Mozart? And the answer to question number 46 is Austria. Question number 47. What is the name of the famous tower in Paris? And the answer to question number 47 is the Eiffel Tower. Question number 48. Which country in Europe is known for its Viking history and capital city of Copenhagen? I can just give you one hint. It is not Norway. And the answer to question number 48 is Denmark. Question number 49. Which country in Europe is known for its thermal springs and spas? And the answer to question number 49 is Slovakia. So this question was probably a bit more difficult than a lot of the others. Question number 50. What is the name of the palace in St. Petersburg that was the residence of the Russian Tsars? And the answer to question number 50 is the Winter Palace. And congratulations, you already made it half through the game. I hope you scored a lot so far, but let's see what you do in the second half of the game. Question number 51. Which European country is known for its wine and beaches on the Adriatic coast? And the answer to question number 51 is Croatia. Question number 52. What is the name of the river that flows through Vienna? And the answer to question number 52 is once again our old friend, the Danube. Question number 53. Which European country is known for its islands and olive groves? 
And the answer to question number 53 is Greece. Question number 54. What is the name of the river that flows through Berlin? And the answer to question number 54 is the Spree. Question number 55. What is the name of the castle that is home to the Scottish crown jewels? And the answer to question number 55 is Edinburgh Castle. Question number 56. What is the name of the famous palace in Portugal that overlooks the city of Lisbon? And the answer to question number 56 is the Pena Palace. Question number 57. What is the name of the island in Greece that is known for its whitewashed buildings with blue domes? The answer to question number 57 is Santorini. Question number 58. Which European country is known for its vodka and onion dome churches? And the answer to question number 58 is Russia. Question number 59. What is the name of the famous fountain in Rome? The answer to question number 59 is the Trevi fountain. Question number 60. What is the name of the mountain range that runs through Norway, Sweden, Finland and Russia? And the answer to question number 60 is the Scandinavian mountains. Question number 61. What is the name of the ancient Roman city buried by volcanic ash in Italy? The answer to question number 61 is Pompeii, in English probably most likely spoken uh, Pompey. Question number 62. What is the name of the famous palace in Vienna that was the residence of the Habsburg dynasty? And the answer to question number 62 is the Schönbrunn Palace. Question number 63. What is the name of the mountain range that runs through France, Switzerland, Italy and Austria? And the answer to question number 63 is something we had before. This time the question was just made differently because the answer is still the Alps. Question number 64. What is the name of the ancient city in Greece that was the center of the Delian League and birthplace of democracy? The answer to question number 64 is Athens. Question number 65. What is the name of the famous square in Munich that is the site of the Oktoberfest? And the answer to question number 65 is the Marienplatz. Question number 66. What is the famous cathedral in Italy that has a dome designed by Brunelleschi? And the answer to question number 66 is the Florence Cathedral or the Duomo. Question number 67. What is the name of the famous palace in Madrid that houses the Prado Museum? And the answer to question number 67 is the Buen Retiro Palace. Question number 68. What is the name of the famous castle in Bavaria in Germany that inspired Disney's Sleeping Beauty Castle? 
And the answer to question number 68 is Neuschwanstein Castle. Question number 69. What is the name of the famous palace in Copenhagen that was the residence of the Danish monarchy? And the answer to question number 69 is Amalienborg Palace. Question number 70. What is the name of the famous bridge in Paris that has a view of the Eiffel Tower? And the answer to question number 70 is Pont Alexandre III or Alexander III. Question number 71. Which European country is known for its whiskey and bagpipes? And the answer to question number 71 is, of course, Scotland. And greetings to all my Scottish viewers on my main channel. Question number 72. In what Belgium city do you find the Atomium? The answer to question number 72 is Brussels. Question number 73. Which European country is known for its tulips, windmills and clocks? And if you listen carefully in the beginning of the game, you will know that the answer to question number 73 is the Netherlands. Question number 74. How many states does Germany have? And the answer to question number 74 is 16. By the way, it's 16 since reunification. Before that, it wasn't 16, of course. Question number 75. What is the name of the river that flows through Prague? And the answer to question number 75 is the Ultava. And uh, with that, we have managed to get through three quarters of the game already. So congratulations if you are still playing. So then we go to the exciting last quarter. Question number 76. What is the name of the famous palace in Vienna that is home to the Spanish riding school? The answer to question number 76 is the Hofburg Palace. Question number 77. Which Italian city is known for its canals and gondolas? If you listen carefully early on, you will know that the answer to question number 77 is indeed Venice. Question number 78. How many member states does the European Union have? And the answer to question number 78 is 27. It was 28, but then Brexit happened and the UK left the European Union. Question number 79. What is the capital of the United Kingdom? The answer to question number 79 is, of course, London. Question number 80. Mallorca is part of which country? And the answer to question number 80 is Spain. By the way, when I'm filming this on Mallorca, in, within a very short time, it's about a week or something, they first had snow and then 30 degrees and best summer weather. Question number 81. What is the capital of Finland? And the answer to question number 81 is Helsinki. Question number 82. Which European country is known for its cheese 
and chocolate. And the answer to question number 82 is just checking if you really played the game or were just running it. It's of course Switzerland because that question we already had. Question number 83. What is the capital of Moldova? The answer to question number 83 is Chisinau. Question number 84. What is the name of the famous cathedral in Barcelona designed by Antoni Gaudi? And the answer to question number 84 is the Sagrada Familia. Question number 85. What is the capital of Cyprus? The answer to question number 85 is Nicosia. Question number 86. What is the name of the most famous bridge in London? And the answer to question number 86 is the Tower Bridge. Some might argue with me, but I definitely think that the Tower Bridge is the most famous one. Question number 87. What is the capital of Montenegro? And the answer to question number 87 is Podgorica. Question number 88. In which city is the seat of government of the Netherlands? The answer to question number 88 is The Hague. It's quite possible that someone said Amsterdam, but Amsterdam is the capital of the Netherlands, but the seat of government is indeed The Hague. Question number 89. How many countries are part of Europe? And I mean Europe and not the European Union. The answer to question number 89 is 47. Question number 90. What is the capital of Malta? And the answer to question number 90 is Valletta. Question number 91. What is the smallest country in Europe? And the answer to question number 91 is the Vatican. Question number 92. What is the capital of Lithuania? The answer to question number 92 is Vilnius. Question number 93. Which country has the most inhabitants in Europe? And the answer to question number 93 is the country, of course, that also has the largest area. It is Russia. Question number 94. What is the capital of Croatia? The answer to question number 94 is Zagreb. Question number 95. What is the longest river in Europe? And the answer to question number 95 is the Volga. Question number 96. What is the capital of Liechtenstein? And the answer to the question number 96 is Vaduz, although many will probably say Liechtenstein isn't that such a small country. Yes, they do have cities and they do have a capital city. Question number 97. What is Gouda? And there is a double answer to question number 97, because Gouda is at the same time a Dutch cheese and a Dutch city. 
and the city is the reason for the name of the cheese. Question number 98. What is the capital of North Macedonia? The answer to question number 98 is Skopje. Question number 99. In what European country is the currency called francs? And the answer to question number 99 is Switzerland. No, it's not France, it's Switzerland. In France they use the euro. And last but not least, question number 100. What is the capital of the Ukraine? And I would not be surprised if 100% of people playing this game would absolutely know that the answer to question number 100 is Kiev. Congratulations, you have completed all 100 questions and of course congratulations to the winner. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe, maybe, maybe even learned something. There will be much more games like this here. Just try the next one as soon as it comes out. Today this is the first one but there will be many more and I'll see you there, I'll be back.